Hello, welcome to the Junos configuration for Ansible Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to configure Junos platforms for Ansible management. Each of the managed devices needs to have NetConf over SSH enabled. So this is step one. Under Edit System Services, you can enter Set NetConf SSH and commit that configuration. So that's step one. There are a couple more steps we need to take. Juno's platforms require every connection to be authenticated. And these Ansible NetConf over SSH connections are no exception. There's a couple different methods that can be used to authenticate when you run these Ansible playbooks. One method is to authenticate using a username and a password. You can include the username and password in your Ansible playbook or configure the Ansible playbook to prompt you when the playbook is run to enter username and password values. Maybe the simplest way to handle authenticating these NetConf connections when you run an Ansible playbook is to use SSH key authentication. So on my administrator workstation where I'm going to run the Ansible playbook, I'm going to generate an SSH public private key pair. I do that by using the SSH keygen dash T. This is what type of key pair do you want to generate? And I want to generate an RSA public private key pair. I, it's automatically created in my home directory, home lab. There's a dot SSH directory. And this is the interesting file, the id underscore rsa dot pub file. I want to view the contents of that file. And here's the key. Now, I need to copy every bit of this from right here at the end. Copy, 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 all of that. Don't miss a single character. Copy that. You're not going to be able to type it in, but get all of it. Now we're going to move to the next authentication configuration steps. I was logged in to my administrator workstation as a username lab. And so now I'm going to connect to my Junos managed device, in this example, a VMX, and I need to create a user account. Set system login user lab. This name should match the name that I was logged in on when I generated that public key and this key needs to match. And I would like this user to authenticate using an RSA public key. And then in between quotes, I want you to paste that public key that you copied in the previous step, and then commit the configuration. Now we have a user on each managed device with the correct username and a matching public key that can be used for authentication. Now another key step, is that once the NetConf over SSH session is established by the Ansible controller, the tasks in the playbook are executed, and they are executed using the credentials of this user. So it's important that the user that you create is assigned to the appropriate Junos login class. A simple way to make this work is to use the built-in super user class, which enables this lab user to perform any possible Ansible task on this platform. So enable NetConf over SSH and enable SSH key authentication for a user account on your Junos platforms that has the correct permissions to perform the tasks on your managed devices. Now that you have your Junos platforms configured correctly, there's a couple of neat things you can do. For example, now when I establish an SSH connection to my VMX1 platform, I'm not even prompted to, for a username and password. I'm logged in as the lab user, and it forwards my SSH public key to the device to authenticate. And also now, when I run my Ansible playbooks, I'm not prompted for a username and password because the public key authentication was used and my Ansible playbook can complete. I verified NetConf connectivity. In this learning by we configured Junos OS platforms for Ansible management. Thank you very much.
Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.